Hi there, what's up? My name is Lee. If you're new here, you probably are. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber and today I did this fox face look face beat technique. I don't know, I kind of ended up using some of my older products in my collection. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this look, what I used and all of that good stuff, just keep on watching. So to me, the trick to a good fox face is everything and then the eyes, you know, like it's not just about the eyes being foxy, it's about the brows and the contour and everything. So I'm going to start fresh faced, completely bare everything. I only have my moisturizer on and it's been sitting on my face for a while. And I laminated my brows yesterday. I do it at home with like a lash perm kit. So I laminated them, that's why they're all spiky and I tweeze them and I, I Naturally, my brows go down from this point. So this is the point where I um, start tweezing all, all of these hairs because I want my brows to, to go upwards. Well, not completely up, but you know, like just outwards. Anyway, I'm using a really cheap brush. Actually, it's not like the trick is not about the brush. Um, it's just a dual sided brush. This one is a, a local brand, but you can get it like a brush like this anywhere basically. And it's just an angled brush on this side. And I'm using the Kiko uh, brow pomade. This is the darkest one they have because as you can see, my hair is pretty damn black. I'm just taking some product out and smooshing it into the fibers and flattening the fibers just so that I can create uh, hair like strokes. I'm actually going to start with this one. So I'm starting in the middle where it's a little bit sparse. I'm going to pick up a little bit more and I'm just creating some strokes so I'm just continuing um, adding hairs in the same direction so outward and I did put some oil on my brows so it's it's looking a little bit faded today. It's not as crisp as I like it, but it's okay. It's just the oil is because of the lamination process, which tends to be drying and you can't put water on them for 24 hours. So I have to wait until later tonight before I can wash them. So it, it's not looking the greatest it's looked, but this is my process. So I'm just making sure that the brows go outward and not downward. This will, this will be the theme of this makeup look. Let's go on. I'm gonna go with my concealer. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh in the number 15W, Fair 15W. And with my Catrice uh, Mattifying Powder, it's just it's just a powder, you know, it's mattifying, it's fine. I'm gonna go dot a little bit in the hollows of my eyes and a little bit here, like so. And the whole process is pushing my features upward. I'm gonna also conceal what I feel I need to conceal. So that's like where I have some redness and a little bit here some blemishes and I'm also gonna conceal the bottom part of my cheeks the upper jaw I don't know how to call this part of the face I'm not sure if it has a name actually never mind so to blend this I'm gonna use my trusty Real Techniques um, sculpting brush and then I already have in my hand my Juvia's Place um, brush that I'm gonna use to powder So I did go a little bit heavier with the concealer than I normally do. I never use foundation. I'm not sure if I said it, but I never use foundation. I don't own a foundation, but I usually go more minimal with my concealer. But today for this specific look, I want everything to be a little, a little bit more snatched. So I allowed myself to go a little bit heavier. I don't put anything on my nose just because 
um, I don't like to have a lot of it but whatever I have now on my brush I just run it on top of my nose just to give it a tiny little bit of coverage so now I'm gonna go one eye at a time blend and then powder because I don't want the concealer to have time to settle in my fine lines and you always want to make this face seriously it just helps everything stretch so the whole area is smoother I'm just setting where I put the concealer I'm not setting anywhere else because I am gonna go with another cream product I need to start thinking about my forehead now that I have no hair <laughs> usually I have bangs and hair and everything but not anymore next we're gonna contour I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade shade amber which is a really really cool toned um, really grayish kind of uh, contour shade and my elf what is it small stipple brush uh, which I really love for blending out cream products so I placed it on my cheekbones and on my temples just to elongate this cheekbone area on my chin uh, well my jawline just to separate you know the chins um, underneath my lip just to make it look poutier a little bit here between my brow and my nose and of course on both sides so I'm gonna take my elf small stipple brush and start blending it and I'm blending this upwards as you can see um, this shade I know that a lot of people think it's too cool tone or too gray or whatever um, and it is very cool tone and very very gray but it's not looking muddy on me because my skin is very fair so if you are darker than extremely fair <laughs> then you probably won't like this shade um, but if you are extremely fair and you like a nice uh, really skin like formula uh, then this shade could be nice for you so I'm just blending everything out I'm gonna take a little bit more of my concealer and just add a tiny bit here in this area however you want to call it um, and I'm just gonna highlight it a tiny bit more just to separate the contour on, in this area and I know that I powdered it already and it might backfire <laughs> but I just felt like I over blended everything over there yeah it's not sitting that great but uh, it's already done I'm going to set my contour a little bit with my bronzer this bronzer is uh, it's the balms Oliver and it's very neutral so I'm not really setting the contour this product actually doesn't need to be set at all I'm just uh, warming up a little bit in the perimeters of my face just to add a little bit of warmth to this look so I'm not putting it all the way here in the hollows I'm just warming up my complexion a little bit and some areas may look like they overlap like this part here but it will just make the whole thing look a little bit more healthy and sun-kissed so I'm holding off on blush and, and highlight for now and I'm moving on to the eyes I'm gonna use my Revolution Pro um, eye elements in core it's, it's an eye primer and it's um, like skin toned so I really like it I'm gonna use this Hakuro H64 brush just to apply it on my eyelids and this really does a good job in canceling out all of my veins and everything I'm not like gonna cut the brow or anything like that just covering up anything I have on my lids I'm I also have some staining from previous eye looks you can go on my Instagram and check some more eye looks I don't post everything here sometimes I just like to play with makeup and not film it you know and just take a picture of it and I did cover up a little bit of that contour but it's okay because I'm also going to use some eyeshadows today I'm going to start with my bronzer so I'm just taking an extremely fluffy brush this one is Morphe but it doesn't really matter and I'm just gonna trace like contour my eyes a little bit 
just to continue that general shape and blend that into my face contour and bronzer which works well because this is the bronzer I used on my face and I'm also gonna drag it a little bit to this area I'm also gonna take it a little bit below my eye just on the outer parts I zoomed you in a little bit just so that you can see the rest of the eye makeup uh, closer and I'm gonna use my good sport palette from Colourpop this is just the first thing that pop popped to my hand basically um, it doesn't really matter you can use any shade any color scheme you'd like for a type of look like this I'm gonna start with high hopes which is this mid-tone orangey brownish color and with that same fluffy brush I'm just placing it in the outer corner of my eye dragging it upwards and a little bit on the bottom part of my outer corner just connecting it with my lower lash line I'm taking a smaller brush this is a Juvia's Place brush and the color Hockey this one so I'm just placing it a little bit tighter on my lash line and again dragging it outward I'm not dragging it as much far out as before I'm just trying to create a nice blend with the same brush I'm gonna take a deeper color um, the color reckless which is this one right here and blend that even tighter so really just push it into my outer corner just wiggle the brush a little bit to get that deepness now for my eye shape I have this really sunken spot here that I really need to make sure has enough depth to it otherwise it looks patchy and off and most of the time I can get it looking pretty okay but like it's a struggle now with my fluffy brush from the beginning and the first shade high hopes I'm just taking a little bit of that and just going over wow that was uh, pigmented okay just going over that blend a little bit I'm gonna take an angled brush um, this is also a color brush and the color reckless which is the darkest one I use and I'm gonna push it against my lash line all the way to the inner corner sort of creating um, a liner effect and I'm also going to wing it out here so this is great because you don't have to be precise you already have all of these colors like this shade and everything you already have it on your eyes so it's already like blending itself basically and you can do it longer like I did or shorter however you like and you can blend it or leave it like harsher of a line I like it like this but you can do you you can also skip any of these steps to be honest like this is just me being extra also I'm connecting it to my bottom lash line I'm using that Juvia's Place brush and just diffusing it a tiny bit I'm gonna use my fluffy brush and just wipe a little bit of what's left on it on the back of my hand because I just decided that I want to go in with Trooper Trooper this yellowy shade on my inner corners like on the inner part of my lid this is turning out to be a very warm eye look which I haven't done in a hot minute so that's fun just want to have you know something there yeah that's cool my brows like completely faded away from the oil I have underneath but I'm just not gonna worry about it right now so I'm going to skip blush for today I this is something I don't normally do but I am gonna go with a highlight I'm going in with the OG the Mary Luminizer I love this thing it's it's been with me for a while now <laughs> as you can imagine uh, and I'm using this uh, Colourpop brush to apply it and 
and I'm just going to apply it in the high points of my cheeks and a little bit on like the cheeks just to have that you know cute cute I don't know shine shiny shiny cheeks look I don't know what I'm saying you know what I mean I'm gonna use it on my cupid's bow the bridge of my nose tip of my nose a little bit my brow line I don't usually put highlighter over there and in my inner corners so I'm just taking that big old fluffy brush and wiggle it all in my inner corners like so and I'm gonna take my finger dip it a little bit into my highlighter just tap it ooh, on the center and use a clean finger to blend it out and I'm gonna do it all the way up to my brow And this gives like a 3D effect to the eye. Well, the eye already is already, you know, three-dimensional, but it just gives like that shine that makes it look even rounder and like wet looking. I don't know. I just like this technique on a more neutral toned looks. Actually on any look basically, but I just like it. This is just, this is what I'm doing right now. Okay. Don't ask me hard questions I'm gonna curl my lashes and use my um, Lash Princess mascara from Essence thank you Fridge for just letting me know you're here and that I'm not alone talking to myself my lashes are a little bit clumpy but you know I'm only human so I'm gonna take my Fenty Gloss in Fenty Glow the OG and just use a gloss today nothing else this color is like perfect so this is the finished look I love this technique so much and you can obviously use whatever products whatever colors you want but the base of the technique is the same just you know pushing everything up towards the temples basically I love this look and I actually uh, kind of ended up using some of my older things in my collection so let me know if you have any of those items like the Mary Luminizer the good sport palette let me know if you have them and if you still enjoy using them from time to time and yeah that's it so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a, leave a comment down below those two things will really help me grow and of course subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you in my next video bye